I'm just glad to get that guy's ass off me. Mighty convenient that I was not in the middle of that, because else I'd be very, very dead right now. I might just be very, very dead anyways. Yep. Oh boy. Oh, they got it, they got it. Incidentally, falling masonry hurts like a f motherfucker. But look at this! I found the easy road. How are things going over there? Um, shaky, and not in a good way. Oh fuck! Ass. Or um. I don't even know what that is. Whatever. I'm not exactly, you know, in a frosh. In a friendly location, so... My vocabulary is not my highest priority at the moment. You didn't even give me a single EXP. Whoa, boy! Yep, I'm just that badass, jumping against fallen masonry. The friends, we are saved! Somewhat. I hope. Hello. Nothing to say? Fine with me. I don't know if that's the light of dementia or what that is, but... This place is laggy and it looks so oh god. Why aren't you fighting? You don't have a weapon. Have it. I guess the durability is just gone. Thank you. Thankfully, no one died. There. Well, you're an archer now. I get it. I, I cannot believe it. You survived. We were certain that your light had been lost. I apologize for doubting you, Your Grace. You are a most worthy leader. Perhaps the greatest warrior to ever hold the seat of Mania. But I fear that our work is not yet done. The area is still overrun with knights that were not destroyed in the Spire. You should return to the palace and speak with Sheogora. Ask him how he plans to defend this realm. Can I just summon, you know, Haskell? That actually sounds like a smart idea. I mean, Haskell is Sheogora's chamberlain and all. He must know what Chiagorov is planning. Still, for a golden saint to admit that I am awesome, that is indeed awesome. Let's see if my clever plan works, shall we? Hello, Haskell. Yes, is there something you require? Apparently, you don't. In the fringe, you can see for yourself the devastation that accompanies the Grey March. Let us hope you are up to the task of stopping it. Knights. The appearance of the Knights of Order heralds the beginning of the Grey March. As Lord Sheogorath feared, our time grows ever shorter. Do you have any weaknesses? Although they are not composed of flesh, as you know it, like any other enemy, they can be destroyed with sword and spell. Separate the meat from bone, and they will die. When they do so, their crystalline hearts often remain intact. These hearts are a source of power for the agents of order. You may find them quite useful in certain situations. Indeed. Where are they coming from, anyways? Unlike typical invaders, the knights do not arrive by conventional means. Instead, they enter the Shivering Isles through conduits into this realm. The obelisks. These crystalline obelisks have existed throughout the realm for all of eternity. 
You will find they become more active as the Grey March progresses. Apparently, Sheogorath couldn't just bury him under a bit of dirt. Lord Sheogorath has never succeeded in doing so. They continue to grow in numbers until Jigalag himself arrives. Their advance can be slowed. By destroying the obelisks, the knights lose their conduits into the isles. Okay. Very well, Your Grace. Will there be anything else? Uh, Shogorov. He is the Prince of Madness, the ruler of the Shivering Isles. He hasn't told you his plan? No! Anything uh, interesting to say the here? The obelisks operate by reflecting and focusing energies in order to create a portal to this realm. They can be overloaded and rendered inert by placing the crystalline hearts of the knights into the obelisk itself. Each heart will increase the power of the obelisk until it eventually overloads and shuts down, closing the portal. Okay. If only we could speak more often. You are going to make me walk all the way back to New Sheoff. Thank you very much. Well, you know... Minus the fact that I just fast travel. Also... The game is lagging. Huh. Those things are still accessible, huh? With the French Order, I thought they were no longer accessible. Lavishness and overindulgence, huh? Yeah, sure. If only it were that simple. If only. Cylarn is ours at last, thanks to you. I don't think that Dark Seducer over there is going to like that. Correction, Faden was. Anyway, we got the Knight Order Helmet. So that's a Fawn of Madness, huh? We can't do anything with it yet. Shogorath, allow me to... Well, look who's here. Move needlessly before I tell you what I'm going about yep. to report. News of your success in the fringe precedes you. To further cement the victory, I have an important task for you to perform. Oh, lovely. You will seek the assistance of Relmina Veranum in Zalselm to rebuild the Gatekeeper. You remember? The creature you killed to get in here. The one I free shot it. With the Gatekeeper restored, and Zedillion in operation. We won't have to worry about anything getting in. Things already here are another matter. You'll need to speak with Relmina Veranum. She'll help you with your task. Strange woman has some unusual tastes. With that done, the fringe should be secure. For now, I can feel things start to get a little hairy. And not in the good way, like on your head. We built the gatekeeper. Let's see. A powerful sorceress. Maybe a genius? <laughs> and a complete lunatic. All in all, my kind of person. I brought her to my realm so she could continue to study her sixth element. Honestly, I didn't know there were five already. There are. She's a bit obsessed with it. And with me! Makes dealing with her difficult. You shouldn't have any problems, though. No one likes you that much. Thanks. Uh, Jigalak. He's almost here. I can feel it! You won't like him as much as me. He doesn't even carry a cane! More the giant bone-cleaving sword type of prince. If he's on his way, I'm on my way out. I already feel... Not quite myself. Not quite someone else, but not quite myself. Okay. That made a whole lot of sense. It's all moving faster than I'd expect. And I'm good at expecting. Things are getting a bit thin. Get that gatekeeper in place. And do it quickly. I'm not sure how much time I have left. Uh-huh. It's essential. Simply essential. If only it were essentially simple, but it's not! I want him there guarding those gates. If any of Jigalag's forces show up, he should be ready for them. Oh, he will be. 
It wouldn't do to just let them in if more show up. And more always show up. Still and all, I think things are going well, considering. Go talk to Relmina in Zaselm. Tell her you're working for me. <laughs> She'd do anything for me, that little minx. Typo there. Send Relmina, my love. <laughs> That'll get her going. Always a pleasure. We have something new to say. Do you require assistance with the task Sheogorath has given you? No, I'm just hoping to get some funny information out of you. Let's see, Zalsum. Has your grace no interest in exploration and discovery? No. I prefer a marked route. Very well. I shall mark a fast way to travel there on your map. Our lord is always acquainted with sorceress Varanim's current whereabouts. Her affections have caused him unnecessary annoyance in the past. Okay. Well, who is she? She is a powerful sorceress. She believes she has found a sixth element, the element of flesh. She was expelled from the Mages Guild for this belief and for the uh, extreme nature of her experiments. Extreme nature. Our Lord took interest and brought her here so Relmina might continue her work free of those provincial notions of decency and morality. You will find her in her sanctum, hidden away in the dungeon of Zasel. Yeah, she could make necromancers raise her eyebrows. And that isn't good. Anything new to say about the Grey March? It appears to be inevitable, though your victory in the Fringe is a new twist. I fear Sheogorath will be gone soon, however. His appearance seems imminent. His hatred for this land, for what it represents, is unimaginable. Hey. The obelisks operate by reflecting it. They can be... The gatekeeper stood guard over the realm, keeping those not blessed by Sheogorath out. Until you, your grace, slew him. Well, you told me to. Sheogorath has asked that you create a new gatekeeper to stand watch over the fringe. You should speak with Relmina Varanim as quickly as possible. I fear our time runs short. Indeed. If only we could speak more often. Oh, you keep saying it, and I'll just make it true. But I'm just about out of time for today, so... When we come back... Oh, well, we can actually fast travel there immediately. I'm not going to, but we could. We're going to travel there, and we're going to do some stuff, so... Be right back. And we are back. Your Grace. Yes. What do you have to say? Your grace. And you? Nothing, because that doesn't work. Also an interesting thing. Oh god, oh god. I noticed while testing a few things. This thing, solid. This thing, solid. This thing, not so much. This thing, also not. I don't know why. Blessings, citizen. Whatever. I have other things to do. And those other things are... Preparing for a fetch quest. Where is the... Nice. Thank you. Now I'm gonna go to move into the... <coughs> to Faden's quarters just yet. But I do need to do something. Don't need that. Oh man, need to fix that. Ring of Lordship, resist disease, 70%. Although admittedly, shield 23% uh, would more than double my current armor. That's pretty respectable. Those are gonna be sold. Flawed diamond, lockpick. Wait, I'm gonna sell that lockpick. 
Give me back the lockpick. I also need... I... What do I have yarn here? I also need... Apparently I still have some junk in here. But I need a gem. I need a specific gem. For something I can do. And for that, I need either a specific gem, or I need to... Actually, I could just go back to just to sell him for that. But it's more interesting to use a gem. Hello. Speaking of which... No, they don't. Not anymore, at least. Yeah, he hates me. My good friends, a most jubilant time is once again at hand. The flame of the maniacs burns bright, and we must celebrate. Now Aye. is a time for I indulgence. See no reason to Partake of the wine and the green moat. <laughs> Cast off your clothing and your inhibitions. Sing and dance until the sun rises. Feast until your belly is full, then fill the wine goblets once more, and toast our fortune. We shall raise our goblets <clears throat> to the great Cheagorath. May he rule the Isles for another thousand years. We shall raise our goblets to the demented. Though misguided they are. We are all children of Arden Sewell's teachings, and therefore equal. <laughs> Shut up. And finally, we shall raise our goblets to the great Arden Sewell. Poet, thespian, author, lover, virtuoso, and artisan extraordinaire. To be a maniac is to love and be loved. Spread the compassion and the warmth throughout New Sheoth and beyond. Smile at your fellow man. Help him when he falls. Remember, these are the times of mirth and cheer. These are the times of mania. Hi. Interesting. Of course, if you side with dementia, you'll get a the demented version of that uh, little speech. There is a minimal chance I might actually show it off, so if you want to hear it, just you know, internet. And it's also late, so I need to go to bed. Incidentally. I can still go to Sigli Bernice's, just because I want to. I really don't have a reason to, but let's be honest, there is not like I use the money for anything else. And it doesn't even require money to begin with. Twelve hours, please. Tons of rest of XP. Now to sell a whole bunch of crud. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to go here. Which I can't do because that shop isn't open. Okay, let's go to... Earl's Mysteries. And meet an NPC I've not yet met. Errol. Although I call him Earl at times. I don't know why. What were you thinking? Lighting the great torch for mania. For shame. That is not your introduction. Please, come back s Firm arms? A strong back? Yes, you'll do nicely. It's a shame. Time will ravage you, destroy you, wither you. But there are alternatives. What? Time need not slow you. Tell me, have you ever considered placing yourself on display? I'm not a pair of boots. Oh, yes. You see... I am a student of chronomancy, the magic of time alteration. Using magicka, 
I will slow your heart rate, your breathing, your movement, and your thoughts until they may as well not be functioning at all. You will be perfectly preserved, taken out of time, beautiful forever. I will display you with the rest in my collection. No, thank you. Oh, what a pity. Well then, what is it that I can do for you? And be quick about it. Every second that passes brings us closer to our graves.